<laughs> Are you ready? You got your tackling fuel? Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be game on. <laughs> you bring your bow today? I'm throwing a bow in. If we're in the country, you gotta have a bow. As picky as you are, and the <laughs> I have in mind, if we're yes. in the country, I'm freaking having a bow. Good points you make. October the 29th today and uh, Jared and I are out for I'm gonna call it the first day of our rut hunting uh, corridor here and I got vacation scheduled from November the 6th through about the 14th or so and uh, looking forward to that but Jared and I the last couple years have been getting out a little bit early just because we can't handle sitting at the house and it's the pre-rut and uh, this morning, it's the first morning after a couple of days of nasty wind. Uh, it's the last couple of days of uh, archery antelope season. So we've got two deer tags, a couple of antelope tags, and we're looking to just look around this morning and see if we can't uh, get a scouting report. We came in here, uh, we hiked in about a half a mile, and uh, we're looking for a big whitetail I named Loppy. He's a big, kind of, the reason I call him Loppy is because he's got a big right side. Uh, he's got on like a 10 point side or he's got five on his right, six on his left. He's a little shorter on his left, so he looks a little lopsided. But uh, we got a ground blind set up over my shoulder. It's been there for a month. It's perfectly tucked in a nice little draw bottom. Uh, just hoping to see a glimpse of him, just using this morning to glass, see if we can't get an eye on him. If we happen to bed him down, we were gonna take the heads up new Corey and work in and try to challenge him this morning. But anyway, it's an absolute gorgeous morning. The wind's laid down after a couple of nasty days of wind, so it's a really good day to be out. Got some pretty high pressure, the moon's overhead this morning. So uh, no glimpse of any big, big deer this morning, but uh, just a beautiful time to be out. So we're gonna keep looking. just transitioned to antelope hunting. It is about 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, the wind is nice and steady at a northwest pace of 10 miles an hour. And uh, Jared and I got the heads up. We're gonna cruise out here. The cool thing is, is these, these antelope are laying on a side hill in a pasture which is kind of unusual for this country. Normally they're out in the middle of a stinking wheat field or something and they can see you coming from forever. So we've actually got a really good goalie we're gonna drop down. We're gonna take a button hook and uh, get the wind right. And hopefully maybe coax a buck into a decoy. It's pretty late. This is the last few days of season. And, uh, so anyway, I haven't shot an antelope with a bow yet. and. Uh, Jared and I have been trying like heck, but it just never has worked out. So anyway, here we go. Well, the Ventum is bloodthirsty as it always is. It's taken a turkey, an elk, and uh, we're gonna get a whitetail hopefully this year, possibly mule deer depending on the situation. And if we're lucky, an antelope. once in a while it takes you got to be on foot because you can't 
can't see all of it, like from the Polaris or anything. So we're cruising through this bottom and there's a mule deer, old mule deer with velvet still kind of like old dried and crusty on his antlers. And uh, he's an awesome buck, but I shot a really good mule deer last year and I'm really wanting to hold out for this whitetail that I've been after. So Jared is, uh, we're like three quarters of a mile in. Jared's gonna get ready. We're gonna walk all the way back. We're gonna grab the doe decoy mule deer, Jared's bow, get a drink of water, come back in. And I think this dude's gonna be here for a while. So we've got a perfect drainage leading right to him. I mean, literally we can get within bow range without a decoy. So we're gonna use the, the quietness of this dirt in this bottom. We're gonna sneak around. We're gonna present the decoy and uh, Jared should have a 50 yarder, no, no doubt about it. So if we can just be quiet, get out of here, go grab a uh, bow. And uh, Jared's up on the on the bow next. So. You know it's a good thing when we're getting the second bow out. Oh, we found some. It is ridiculous how picky Travis is because we could already had this deer dead. Like, <laughs> this is true. Without a doubt. And he's like, I'm going to wait, but I think it's worth it. This is a test because whenever you see a good deer, and it's very early in my deer vacation for this year, is a good test to say to see how bad Jared wanted this deer because it was a commitment to come all the way back to get his bow. So now I know we're in it. Now we're in it. He is right. Kind of like a woman here. I'm taking a little extra time. Just get myself looking good for the camera. <laughs> What's that saying? You got a face for radio? Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> that's true. That's why I'm normally behind the camera. I guess the spotlight's on. That's right. Let's go get them. That's right. Give me 
enough time to draw and kill him. Oh my goodness, brother. Do I? That deer is so freaking awesome. Holy smokes, my friend. <laughs> when I let that arrow go, I couldn't believe it spined him. Like it's not, it was like right, right here. Well, it was, you gotta understand. I was sitting down so coming, up. coming up. Yeah, I was a couple that, inches high probably. You can't practice every scenario. He, he came out and he turned further than I thought he did, so I thought, well, I don't want to miss under him. Sitting a lot of times when I sit and 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 shoot, sometimes I drop my bow arm. I think everybody does. But and and I thought it was maybe a hair further than my 26 yard pin, so I went mid body and, and I actually think I made a really good shot. I was just maybe coming uphill a little bit and and uh, he may have tried to dip it. I don't know. All I know is this is an old gray. My goodness, I mean, fill that right. Gee man. I mean, these bases are like, Coke can for sure. <laughs> That's a, absolutely. That is so awesome, man. So awesome. Thanks, so happy man. for you, dude.